and welcome back to the Railway Man. It's going pretty well. Uh, we'll have a look at the fixtures. As you can see, since last time, uh, we had Wellingham City beat Bedford 2-0. Goals from Troke and Lusamba. They would beat Tame 2-1. Goals from Troke and Humphreys. Uh, Linton Goss getting a late kill for them. A nil-nil draw against Corby, there a man sent off. Really should have done better against them, but we'll take it away from home. Then a 3 2 win against Aylesbury. That means today we play Dunstable in second, we're in third, and then we play Kemp Kempston in seventh. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty tight at the top. Cambridge and Dunstable have 100% records. This is really not going to be an easy fixture. Away at Dunstable. Uh, Am I pretty happy with the team? Woodley's still on his way back. I put Woodley on the bench. Can get him a couple of minutes. Uh, let's go. Come on, Diddy! We could do with a win. Gonna be really hard. Uh, playoffs is sort of my aim. Hopefully we can get promoted. If we don't get promoted, it's going to be a bit of a bummer. Because, you know, we don't want to spend too long in the 8th tier. We want to be flying up the leagues. We'll play... Uh... Canterbury. I think it is. Is it Canterbury? Hold on. Cambridge. Sorry. Not Canterbury. Cambridge. It is Cambridge. Uh, we'll probably play Cambridge in the next episode, and then we'll go all the way through to January, hopefully. No point in hanging around too long in this division, is there? Trying to speed through, get up to League 1, League 2. Then, games will probably be more, sort of, every 3-4 weeks, I guess, in terms of videos. Uh, this is possibly the worst first half of football I've ever witnessed. Have you seen the stats? Uh, I do need to download a skin. Uh, I know which one I'm downloading, I just haven't downloaded it yet. Maybe my new graphics card, I'll definitely get it in. Uh, give him a morale boost. Go on, lads. Voice crack. <coughs> give him a morale boost. Come on, lads. They've had two shots. Great. Okay, we're kind of being dominated here. They're coming into a bit more, so... Oh, he's not fit. I don't care. We need him. I'm going to do that as well. So we cannot afford to go down to ten men. Especially not losing a player. Influential as Hayden. Uh, come on, give him a push forward. Get a shot on target, at least. Or even have a shot. Obviously, I'll take a nil-nil draw. McNish with a corner. Come on. Humphreys. Score! Seth Humphreys! What a player. He's doing really well for us. And we go top of the league. It's done on alphabetical order, which I'm really worried that, like, a C or an A are going to finish above us because of that. That would be horrible. But, like, out of nothing, we take the lead. Uh, we've been shocking. No polite way of saying it, really. Apart from, we've been shocking. Uh, we'll wait until the 80th minute uh, before we make our last change. Oh, I shouldn't have waited. I'll wait any longer. We'll wait until this highlight's over. It's over. It's our normal sort of change to bring on Kiki and then swap them. What does Leroy like to be played at? No nonsense centre back? Stopper. Excellent. Let's go defensive. Give him a concentrate to think about.
Come on, hold on. Surely this is going to be the whistle. Yes! What a win! Tell you what, what a win! I'm just going to have to say that was really special, lads. No one gave us a chance. Away at second place. We're on now top of the league. Uh, what can I say? I'm just a genius. I'm just a genius. You know, providing miracles. Uh, to be fair, Cambridge City... They are Cambridge City, right? Cambridge City haven't played. Game against them is going to be the next, next episode because it has to be. It's such a big game. Anyway, I'm going to cut back to you uh, as we go into the Kempton Rovers game. Woohoo! Celebrate good times. Come on, Dunster Bull! No, it's going to be six from six for them. That's, that's title winning form. It's six from six for them. Uh, that is title winning form. And a really good performance. Okay, so going into this game against Kemp's Kempston, Kempston, it's not a hard one to pronounce. It really isn't. Uh, unchanged. Don't change a winning formula. It's the best way to put it, really. Like, why? Why would we change what's working quite well for us? Uh, they're going four three three wide. Uh, the best player is this guy. Uh, he's he's all right. He's all right. Morale boost. Come on, lads! Uh, so genuinely, you know, it's going really well. Cambridge top on 19 points. Means they're drawing. We need Cambridge to start dropping points and dropping them rather quickly because... Uh, 
you know, we 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 badly need to overtake them. Yaxley up to second, third as it stands, not bad. Once again, this is a difficult game. Like this is a playoff chasing side. And we're not, we don't really create many chances. They have a corner here, don't concede, don't concede. Well away. Now get out, get out, get out. Oh my god, what a goal. Whoa, okay. Now that's something I didn't expect. Paul came into the back post. I was like, oh, he's going to cross, he's going to cross. Goes for the strike and it is a ridiculously good goal. Going to go attacking. Cambridge are winning. <sighs> okay. This could be the first defeat of the season. Like, genuinely, we're not doing well at all in this episode. Uh, I come back and then it all goes to <laughs> all goes wrong. I uh, only had like one shot in the last game. Come on, chance just before half time. Sam has been found. Spence is getting his second yellow. They've given us a huge opportunity here. Mason Spence sent off. That's half time. Right. I'm, I'm amazed that only kind of motivated one person, but cool. We're going to bring on. Sorry, Troke. Aaron Woodley's coming on. Nishon for Hayden, who always seems to pick up a, pick up a booking, I notice. Because I always go, which one of my centimetres will I take off? I'll take off Hayden, because he's booked. Going to go very attacking. Desperate surge of that equaliser. We're obviously not going to go the whole season unbeaten. We were never expecting that, but it, it will be... These are the sort of games that we need to win if we want to want to compete, and we do have a free kick here, headed over the bar, down, give him a push forward, right, I want you to be an advanced playmaker support, You can go on as a target man at attack. Come on. Come on, Diddy. Go on. Right. Okay. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, Diddy. One last thing. We're going to just throw a caution to the wind. Okay, McNish can go out there. Humphreys will go out there. Hendry go there. Shall I do that? And then I'll go like that. Great. Okay. Let's just go for it. Come on. Last chance. 
Come on. Grab a deserved equaliser. They're going to counter us. They're going to counter us. If all goes long, they've got no one up. We're pushing so high up that they're so isolated. They've just got to keep booting it away, and we've just got to keep the pressure on. McNish out to Humphreys. Good ball. It's the box. The Samba. McNish! Callum McNish! Come on. We're just going to go attacking, and we're going to encourage them. That's what we're going to do. Can we get a last-minute winner? I'm very happy with the equaliser. I'll take a point. Still unbeaten. This is going to be the full-time whistle, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. You know what? I'll take a point. It's good for our playoff charge, but maybe not our automatic... I forgot to give them a team talk. Cool. Yeah, it's not very good for our, uh, our promotion charge, is it? But, playoff-wise... Perfectly happy with it. Cambridge look almost unstoppable. They smashed Berkhamsted, who are yeah, they're not amazing, but yeah. So yeah, that's the end of the episode. It seemed to have flown by for me. I've loved every second of this episode, to be honest. It's we we've not been great, but you know we're still unbeaten. It's all that really matters. Uh, we're going to come back for Cambridge and Coles. Coles Hill. Yeah, we'll go, come over Coles Hill. Although, Peterborough Sports might be a key one to do. They've got Dunstable, Aylesbury. Aylesbury, then Coles Hill after that. I think I might go for that. Oh, yeah. Cambridge, Coles Hill, Peterborough, Aylesbury. That, that's the next two episodes, I believe. So, yes, if you did enjoy this episode, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on. I've been Ruse 17 and Cheerio. All die verschwommenen dunklen Bilder werden klar und alles was sie sagt wird wahr. Ich bin so schön verstrahlt. Ich heb ab zum Mars 10.000 Grad, 10.000 Grad.